Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is on acid fast staining technique and its details. So let's start with it. Let's start with a short introduction. In nature, there are variety of microorganisms. Each microorganism has some special characters. Most of the microorganisms get easily stained by simple staining procedure. But there are some microorganisms that are not easily stained by this technique because they have a waxy covering on its surface. If anyhow they get stained, they don't get decolorized even by using strong decolorizing agents. So as we all know, in nature there is a huge variety of microorganisms. And these microorganisms, that is each and every microorganism have some differential characters, some special characters. Most of these microorganisms can be easily stained by using simple staining procedures. But there are some microorganisms which don't get easily stained by this staining procedures because they have a coating on its surface. They have a waxy coating on its surface. So they don't get stained by this simple staining procedures as well as if they get stained by this simple staining procedures they don't get easily decolorized even by using strong decolorizing agents such organisms require a special staining technique acid fast staining technique is a differential staining technique in bacteriology now the microorganisms which don't get easily stained by using simple staining procedures are stained by using acid fast staining technique. Now this technique was discovered by scientist Paul Ehrlich in 1883. Acid fast staining helps us to differentiate the organism as acid fast and non acid fast organism. So by using acid fast staining we can differentiate the organism in two types that is acid fast organism as well as non acid fast organism. For staining such organisms that is for staining the organisms which don't get stained by using simple staining procedure zeal nilsel staining method is used and this method is also called as acid fast staining method see the definition okay now when we use acid fast staining technique we are going to differentiate two types of microorganism the one is acid fast microorganism and the second is non acid fast microorganism so let's see the definitions first one is acid fast organism the organism that get easily stained by using acid fast staining technique but don't get decolorized even by strong acid are called as acid fast organism okay the organism which gets stained but don't get decolorized by strong decolorizing agents are called as acid fast organism and the second one is non acid fast organism the organism that easily gets stained by a staining procedure that is acid fast staining procedure as well as easily get decolorized by a strong acid are called as non acid fast organism okay so here in non acid fast organism the organism stains also easily and gets decolorized also easily by the acid fast staining technique so such organisms are called as non acid fast organism now let requirements so here we need a clean grease free slide a bacterial cell suspension staining agent that is zeal nilsen carbyl fuchsin now as i told you before this technique is also called as zeal nilsen staining technique further we need a boiling water bath after that we need a decolorizing agent that is acid alcohol and finally we need a counter stain that is 1% malachite green or 0.3% methylene blue so these are the requirements which we need for acid fast staining technique let's see the procedure of staining take a clean grease free slide and prepare a smear using nichrome wire loop 
so when you prepare a smear you should take a clean grease free slide and with the help of a nichrome wire loop you have to prepare a smear on it now why we use nichrome wire loop because nichrome is a metal that heats up easily that is fast as well as it cools down also fast so the wire loops are made up of nichrome metal so it is called as nichrome wire loop now after preparing a smear you have to air dry and heat fix the slide now how to heat fix the slide now just take your slide and pass the smear rapidly 2 to 3 times from bunsen burner flame and your smear will get heat fixed further the slide is flooded with zncf steam and placed on a water bath for steaming boiling water bath for steaming for about 3 to 5 minutes so after heat fixing flood the smear with zncf steam okay and place your slide on boiling water bath for 3 to 5 minutes now during steaming procedure the stain that is zncf stain is continuously added on the slide for avoiding the drying of smear further the slide is treated with decolorizing agent that is acid alcohol until the stain disappear in washing now after uh, treating to steam that is after boiling water bath treatment you have to add a decolorizing agent on the slide now you have to add this decolorizing agent until the stain completely disappears in the washing now after decolorization step you have to give your slide a water wash treatment simply wash the slide with the tap water further the smear is flooded with the counter stain that is 1% malachite green or 0.3% methylene blue for about 2 minutes now after 2 minutes the slide is washed with water air dried and observed under oil immersion objective so this was the procedure of acid fast staining now let's give a look on a flow chart of acid fast staining procedure first prepare a smear on a slide air dry and heat fix the smear flood the slide with zncf stain that is zeal nilsen carbol fuxin stain further place the slide on water bath for 3 to 5 minutes repeatedly add zncf stain to avoid drying of smear treat the slide with decolorizing agent water wash the slide further flood the slide with counter stain for 2 to 3 minutes water wash the slide and observe under oil immersion objective so this was the flow chart of acid fast staining procedure let's see. now before going to the mechanism of acid fast staining let's see some functions of the reagents that are used in acid fast staining technique okay the first one is zncf that is zeal nilsen carbol fuxin stain it is a primary stain first of all many acid fast bacteria are not stained with the common stains like carbol fuxin because they are prepared in aqueous solution now why specially zncf stain is used in acid fast staining because there are many common stains and these common stains are made in aqueous solution okay and these acid fast bacteria they don't get stained by using such stains which are prepared in aqueous solution now these acid fast bacteria require a stain that is prepared in phenolic stain or phenolic solution and zncf stain is prepared in phenolic solution further as these acid fast bacteria have a waxy coating on their surface and phenolic stain solubilizes waxy covering and stain the cell so first of all what happens here normal stains are of no use because the normal stains now suppose consider here only carbol fuxin okay now this carbol fuxin is of no use because such common stains they are made in aqueous solution okay for acid fast staining we require a special type of stain. 
stain that is ZNCF stain. Why ZNCF is used? Because this stain is prepared in phenolic solution. So the base for preparing this stain is phenolic solution. Now why we use phenolic solution here? Because these acid fast bacteria have a character that is they have a waxy coating on their surface. Okay, and this phenolic solution, what it does, it solubilizes this waxy covering on the surface. And after solubilizing this waxy coating on the cell, then the stain enters the cell and then further it stains the cell. Now, the cells get stained with ZNCF of pure pink in color. So, this is the function of ZNCF carbyl fuchsin, that is, sorry, zine lysyl carbyl fuchsin, ZNCF stain. Now the next one is acid alcohol. First of all, it is a decolorizing agent. Decolorizing agent means it removes the stains which are which is present inside the cells. Once we stain the cells, the uh, the cells appear colorful. Okay, colorful means uh, it appears a particular color that it may be pink, green, or blue, whatever. But this decolorizes agent what it does it removes the stain from the cell that is it extracts the stain further it is prepared from the combination of acid that is 3% hydrochloric acid and alcohol that is 95% ethanol now here acid alcohol decolorizing agent is made with a combination now the concentrations for preparing this acid alcohol decolorizing agent is 95% ethanol is used and 3% hydrochloric acid is used now the third one is 1% malachite green or 0.3% methylene blue is used now these are the counter stains okay first of all see it is acts as a counter stain second it stains the decolorized cells and these cells appear green or blue in color if we use malachite green these cells appear green in color if we use methylene blue these cells appear blue in color so these are the role of the agents which we use in acid Let's see the mechanism of acid fast staining technique. So what actually happens in acid fast staining technique? First of all, acid fast bacteria have a waxy covering on its surface or we can say it has a high lipid content in the cell wall. As I told you before, acid fast bacteria have a waxy coating on its surface and the cell wall is made up of high lipid content. The cell wall of acid fast bacteria is made up of lipids like mycolic acid and glycolipids. Now due to these high lipid content in the cell wall, these cell walls has less permeability. Less permeability means they do not allow any stain to in enter inside the cell. Now, so first it is necessary to increase the permeability of the cell wall so that stain can easily penetrate in the cell and stain the cell. Now, how we have how we can increase the permeability of the cell wall here the permeability of a cell wall is increased by using phenolic solution and steaming. Now, how it is done? First of all, here we are going to use a special kind of stain that is ZNCF stain. This stain is prepared in phenolic solution. Okay, and the role of phenol is to solubilize the fat and the waxy covering which is present on the cell. Okay, so the phenolic solution during the steaming process, this phenolic solution, it solubilizes the waxy coating and increases the permeability in the cell wall okay now after the permeability is increased the stain enters the cell and stains the cell now once the acid fast bacteria get stained it doesn't decolorize even by strong decolorizing agent and appear pink in color now here as I told you before, there are two types of bacteria which we distinguish in this procedure that is acid fast bacteria and non acid fast bacteria. Now here I am talking first I am talking about acid fast bacteria. Now acid fast bacteria once they get stained by ZNCF stain, they don't get decolorized and appear pink in color. But whereas non acid fast bacteria, 
they get easily decolorized by using a strong decolorizing agent now once this bacteria get decolorized they are stained by using a counter stain and they appear green or blue in color now we can use two types of stain here we can use malachite green as well as methylene blue now if we use malachite green stain the cells appear green in color and if we use methylene blue the cells appear blue in color so this was the mechanism of acid fast staining now let's see the observation acid fast bacteria appear pink in color and non acid fast bacteria appear green in color now let's see the diagrammatic representation here with the help of diagrams i have tried to show you the difference between acid fast bacteria and non acid fast bacteria now the first diagram is of acid fast bacteria these cells appear pink in color okay they take only zncf stain and don't get decolorized further whereas the second diagram is of non acid fast bacteria now once the cells get decolorized by a strong decolorizing agent we have treated this bacteria with methylene blue solution hence after water wash treatment the cells appear blue in color so these is the, these are the diagrams of acid fast bacteria and non acid fast bacteria let's see some important points the permeability of acid fast cell is increased by phenolic stain because phenolic stain have high affinity towards the waxy covering and it solubilizes the waxy covering so here the stain which we are going to use that is zncf stain is made in phenolic solution now this phenolic solution what it does it has first of all high affinity it gets attracted towards the waxy coating and here it solubilizes this waxy coating for increasing the permeability here we use steaming because steaming softens the waxy material and allow easy penetration of the stain so here we are going to use two techniques first of all we are using phenolic stain which solubilizes the waxy coating as well as we are using the heat steam it also softens the waxy material so that the stain gets easily penetrate inside the cell now what is the application acid fast staining is useful in the diagnosis of tuberculosis and leprosy so this is the important application of acid fast staining procedure so this was all about acid fast staining technique if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section about the video and thank you for watching